to my channel. Today I've got a special Asmi's Cuisine recipe that will make you feel wow when you eat it. And that's a Roselle fish curry, what we call in Asmi's Tenga Morar Masor Jun. So we're going to make a unique recipe today using fish and with these which are known as Roselle. We call it Tenga Mora in Assamese. And today I'm going to make a tangy fish curry with this particular seasonal fruit. So in order to make this roselle fish curry, what I have done is that I've taken here around 20, 15, 20 roselles and I'm going to give it a nice wash and then put them like this in the pressure cooker for one whistle. Here I have taken one medium sized potato and I have just boiled in some water and some salt, fenugreek seeds. And the entire cooking will however be done in mustard oil. I have taken here some pieces of fish here, this is a big fish there and I have smeared with some turmeric and some salt. Here I have heated some mustard oil here, around two big tablespoons of mustard oil and I am going to fry the pieces of fish. Okay, so in goes the fish there. And just give it a light, just a light fry. So I'm going to take just three pieces of fish and then make this very, very unique and tangy Assamese cuisine fish curry, Roselle fish curry, which we call in Assamese Tenga Morar Masor Jul. So let's get started. After one whistle in the pressure cooker, this is how it looks and I've strained it in a strainer. So I've got this much of the tangy syrup. So now let's get started and cook this curry. So in the same oil in which I fried the pieces of fish, I'm putting in some fenugreek seeds and then as it splutters, I'm just breaking the potato that I had boiled into this and give it a fry. So while that's frying up, I'll put in some turmeric and this is a very very easy recipe and normally if you look into Assamese cuisine, that's really very very simple. We use very minimal of spices and so here goes in and while it's frying up, I just put in this beautiful syrup there, the rosé syrup and give it a boil. Now let me heat up some water that will go into this rosé syrup. This has started to boil up and now I'm going to throw in some hot boiling water. Okay, so here I'm putting in the water, some water I'll give in because I will want the fish pieces to give out the flavor to this entire beautifully tangy tangy curry. So in will now go in the piece of fish that I had fried. So goes in the fish pieces and an important ingredient, the salt. So I'm putting in some salt there. We can check on the salt later. So this on medium heat, I will keep it covered for at least 10 to 12 minutes so that the entire curry has this beautiful flavor of the fishes. So after 10-15 minutes of cooking, this is how it looks and taste in for the salt. You can remove the white scum on the top. So the scum is removed then the dish is ready. Now I just garnish with some fresh coriander. So this is done up. A beautifully tangy recipe and very very wonderful to have during the winter days so you can always give some fresh coriander for the look the beautiful look there and the beautiful feel there when you eat it so this is ready and you can imagine how good it will be if you have it with fragrant rice so I hope you'll give it a like and a thumbs up try out the recipe and leave a comment in the comment section 